It's Monday, September 15th, 2008. I'm James Kotecki. Welcome to the show. Okay, America, listen up. Actually, you know, I probably should be more inclusive of my foreign friends who watch this show. Places like Latvia. So, uh, okay, world, listen up. I usually don't dole out financial advice on this program, but given the events of this weekend, here's the deal. If you haven't already, go ahead and liquidate all your assets, convert those assets into gold nuggets, have your local goldsmith fashion those nuggets into teeth, have your dentist or electrician pull out your back molars and insert your net worth into your mouth. What with our financial system tail spinning into a vortex of oblivion, it's the only way to keep your assets safe. You know, they say a man's real riches are on the inside, but in my case, that's literally true. Ah, still a bit tender though. Speaking of money, Barack Obama raked in $66 million for the month of August, making it the best fundraising month in American political history. But with the Republican National Committee and independent groups working on McCain's behalf, Obama will have to keep raising serious dough. Plus, the fact that he raised $66 million in August again raises the specter that he is perhaps the Antichrist, or at least Darth Sidious. Execute. Order 66. Finally, for some upbeat, warm, and fuzzy news, we turn to Carl Rove, who said this to Chris Wallace of Fox News yesterday. Sorry. McCain has gone in, his, in some of his ads, similarly gone one step too far in sort of attributing to Obama things that are, you know, beyond, beyond, beyond the 100% the, 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 the truth test. Hmm, so Carl Rove thinks John McCain's ads go too far. Do you think the Democrats will bring that up? And hey, do you think they'll mention this? Both campaigns are making a mistake, and that is they are taking whatever their attacks are and going one step too far. Okay, so yes, it turns out what he actually said was that both campaigns were going too far, but rogue attacks on Democrats are a gimme. It's like, um, your body attempting to reject your gold nugget molars. You have to expect it, people. That's why you use super glue. Econ 101. Well, that's it for today. Check out politico.com slash Kotecki for more videos. And don't you worry about a thing, because every little thing is going to be all right. Except maybe for the American economy. We'll keep on smiling. Ah, right here on Kotecki TV.